to the Most High, His Son, Jesus the Christ. What are we out here teaching? That the black man, black woman, Latino man, and Latino woman, we went into slavery for breaking God's commandments. Who are we really? We're the Israelites according to the Holy Bible. I know some of you like to think you Afro-Americans. Some of you like to think you Puerto Ricans. Some of you like to think you Mexicans. But there were 12 families that went into captivity for breaking God's commandments. Okay? Let's start off with uh, Isaiah chapter 51. And let's look at it in verse... No, let's start at verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. Thy light at the head of all the streets is a wild boar in a net. They are full of fury of the Lord, the rebuke of their God. So now we want to explain that verse. Let's read that verse again. Thy sons have fainted. Who are the sons of Israel? The sons of the Israelites are you black men. You are the sons of Israel. You ain't Negro. You ain't Afro-American. Nothing. You ain't black men. You are the Israelites, according to the Bible, that went into slavery for breaking God's laws. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. And you have fainted from the truth of God. You're fainted and that's why you're in all these false religions out here. Baptist, Pentecostal, Lutheran, Mormon, Islam. You have fainted from the truth because none of those things are in the Bible. And the challenge is open to any Christian out there. Show us where Christ said be a Baptist in the Bible. Show us where Christ said be a Pentecostal in the Bible. You won't find it. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. They have lied at the head of all the streets. So when the Bible says thy sons have fainted, what does it mean to be fainted? Meaning you lost consciousness. You're not in your right frame of mind. You're clueless to who you are. What time it is? What's your purpose, black man, upon the earth? And we only use that term black man so because that's the only term you identify with. But you are the biblical Israelites, you black men and black women. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. Meaning your sons have lost consciousness from the truth. They don't know who they are. They lie at the head of all the streets. Your sons are at the head of all the streets. Look at these brothers out here on the corners. Why are they at the corners hustling? Because there's no hope in society for them. They selling water, some of them dealing drugs down the block. Why? Because there's no hope for the black man here in the United States of America. For the mass majority of your sons, the majority of your sons, guess where they're going? Jail. That's where the majority of them will end up. You got the McCormick Center, that large establishment. How many black men work there? Not near one. Not near one got a job there. Why is that? But they are here on the corners selling water and drugs. Don't nobody see that? Don't nobody see what we see out here? Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. So your sons don't know who they are. The black men don't know that they're the Israelites. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the street. Your sons are hanging on the corners. What are they doing on those corners? Trying to make a dollar. Selling water. Selling drugs. Some of them are pimps. Some of them are prostitutes. They lie at the head of all the streets. So the Bible got you pegged, black man. You can't run from this truth because this truth got you down to a science. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. So your sons, oh black man, yet they fainted from the truth that they're the Israelites. They lie at the head of all the streets. They hang at the corners of all the streets. As a wild bull in a net. Can you control these young black men hanging on the corners? No. That's why Chicago says, your mayor says, we got to bring in a national guard. Right. Because young black men are out of control. They robbing, they stealing. Why is that? Because there's no hope for them here. They living in the midst of poverty. What do you think a poor man is going to do? He's going to steal. Why? Because you got to give him hope. What is there to hope for in society? White man Jesus, you women say? You think young black men going to wake up and pray to white man Jesus? Some days are done. Those days are over. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. There's a wild bull in a net. So the Bible says young black men that hang on the corners are like wild bulls in a net. What does a wild bull do? Kick and scream. You can't control them. 
That's why crime is on the rise. Because the trap, the net is the trap in the of this society. They say, go to college, black man. But then they say, if you want to go to college, you don't got a scholarship. College is what, $10,000? You got to come up with $20,000 maybe. Brother, go, wait, 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 yeah, I want to go to college. Where am I going to get $20,000 from? Then what does he do? He got to work in Jewel Osco. He got to work in Dollar Tree for $3.50 McDonald's. And he got a wife and kids. What are you going to do next? Steal. That's the evolutionary process. That's what's going to happen. That's the social system. Read it again. Thy sons have fainted. So your sons have fainted from what? They fainted from the truth. Black men, no matter how old you are, you don't know who you are. You have fainted from the truth, you Latino men as well. You're the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Come on. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. So they hang on the corners with nothing to do. As a wild bull in a net. They're like wild bulls in a net that can't be controlled. You think jail's gonna control a young black man? Wait till he gets out. You made him twofold more a monster than when you put him in. That's what happens. He come out, he went in jail 120 pounds, mad. Now he come out of jail 300 pounds of muscle, filled with rage. Read it again. The sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. It's a wild bull in a net. They are full of fury. They are full of fury, the Bible says. But your mayor in Chicago says, in order to control the young black man, we have to bring in the National Guard. Don't none of your leaders hear nothing wrong with this? Don't no black minister hear nothing wrong with this? Bring in a national guard. Come on, read it from where you start left off. They are full of fury of the Lord. They are full of the fury of the Lord. The rebuke of their God. They are full of the rebuke of thy God. What does that part mean? The, the, the fury and rebuke of God is slavery. The reason we went into slavery was because we, as the Israelites, broke every commandment God gave us. Every commandment we break. So we're full of the rebuke of God, full of his fury. Let me look at it, jump down now to verse uh, 23. But I will put in it into the hand of them that afflict thee. Let's read that part again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. But I will put it into the hands of them that afflict thee. Let me say that part again. But I will put it into the hands of them that afflict thee. Who is afflicting the black man and black woman? A lot of you scared to say it. Why is there poverty out here? Oh, is it because black men don't like to work? That ain't it. Because when you go to get a job, what they say? Oh, we're not hiring right now. When you go to get a home, oh no, uh, we have to steer you somewhere else. Well, you're overqualified. You're underqualified. Read it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. So who has afflicted the black man? The white man. How has he afflicted you? It's called slavery. A lot of you don't like to admit it or even talk about it. You've been afflicted from the moment you hit the shores of America. Read it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down. Which have said to your soul, bow down. What does that part mean? Which have said to your soul, bow down. I'll give you an example how you have bowed your soul. When the Bible gives the description of Christ, what does it say? It says Christ has white woolly hair and his skin looked like it burned in a furnace. The white man says, close that up, close it. You ain't following that. The white man gave you an image of his image, white man Jesus. That's called the image of the beast, by the way, in the Bible. And the black man reads the Bible and go, but, but it says that Christ had woolly hair. The Bible says it says his uh, skin was like it burned in the furnace. The white man says, bow down, nigga. Bow down, nigga. And what do young black men and women do? They bow down to the white image of Jesus. They have bowed for 400 years. It's time to get off your knees, black man. Get off your stomachs and stand up for the truth of God. 
The Lord says in the Iron book of Psalms, who shall stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Are you black men standing up yet? You better stand up because your destruction is coming. Destruction is soon to come. Read it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which has said to thy soul, bow down. So your enemies have said to your soul, bow down and worship the image of the beast. Your enemies have said, worship the white image of Jesus. And black men and black women, you have bowed down. We, I'll let me put myself in it, because I bowed down when I was younger. We all bowed down, but now it's time to stand up. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.